Number one, BTS. Netizens are currently questioning whether HYBE staff took advantage of BTS's livestream to promote their products and force the members to do something they don't like. Specifically, on August 19th, RM and Jean held a livestream to interact with fans. The two members had a snack with sandwiches and cakes that a HYBE staff bought. And this was where many problems arose. When the two members read out the names of both sandwiches, RM noticed he was given an avocado chicken sandwich. BTS fans know very well that both Jin and RM hate avocados, and their discomfort and subsequent actions said it all. RM frankly shared, <laughs> However, because it was brought by the staff, RM politely took a bite. Then he couldn't swallow and joked, the taste of avocado really pisses me off. Look at his face and you will know that he truly meant it. Nam Joon put the sandwich down while Jin barely touched his. After the sandwiches, Jin and RM tried the dessert they were given. Let's go desserts. Whoa! Whoa! Smooth like water! Jin even made sure to show fans a close-up of the cake. However, fans know very well that Jin doesn't like whipped cream, and he even mentioned it several times in the live. <sighs> Jin still tried to eat a piece, but in the end, he could only temporarily eat the fruit decorations on the cake. The controversy started when many Korean fans discovered that the cakes were most likely brought from a sweet shop called Plate D, which was an acquaintance of that staff. Previously during J-Hope's live, the male idol also received a cake from this brand given by the staff. After Jin and RM finished the live, the Sweet Shop's Instagram account reshared a picture of BTS eating their food and using the term BTS coin, implying that as long as there's BTS's name, money will come. Due to the harsh criticism, the store had to post an apology. In it, they claimed that they only used the word bangtang coin with a positive meaning. They also claim that they didn't have any acquaintances or any request to advertise or sponsor food. However, netizens didn't believe that the store and some HYBE staff had no relation. Because the fact that BTS had to use food from Plate D many times in many live streams said it all. Also, during the live, both RM and Jean confirmed that they weren't intentionally promoting Plate D's food. And their attitudes and actions were extremely awkward, and sometimes they would look at the staff. Number 2. Sojin. Girls' Day. Girls' Day member Sojin was also a victim of scams. In the program Happy Together 3, the female idol shared the beginning of her career with a hard time choosing a management agency. When she participated in the audition of Company A, a manager promised to let her debut as an official K-pop idol within only six months, at the price of 2 million KRW, about $2,000 as a training fee. Because Sochin was so eager to become a K-pop idol, she agreed to hand over the money to this company. But a few months after training, the manager ran away with the money of the trainees, including Sochin's, leaving her in a deadlock. It must have been quite a difficult time for Sochin, as her parents were displeased to learn about what happened. Fortunately, Sochin remained strong and pressed on. She headed to Seoul to follow her dreams, and had to do plenty of jobs to support herself. With all the money she could save, Sochin enrolled in an art academy that trained in singing and dancing. Eventually, she joined Dream Tea Entertainment, and became successful as a member of Girls' Day. Number 3. IU One of the most well-known scams in K-pop is probably IU's case. When she first entered the entertainment industry, IU was once cheated of money just because she believed in the promises of a ghost company. They promised that if she paid some money, they would train her and help her be on television. The female idol said that in order to join the entertainment company, the trainees had to pay all kinds of fees so much that she couldn't afford it. I've been scammed many times. They asked me to pay different amounts of money. Sometimes it even reached 3 million won. If I don't afford enough, they will immediately limit my opportunities and put me in a crisis of not having a job. After about three times like that, IU realized that she had been scammed by a fraudster. This entertainment company also disappeared without a trace. That's a lot of money she lost for them. 
Unfortunately, it wasn't the only time IU fell for a scam. In 2019, IU appeared on the show The Joy of Conversation, and she told her experience of being scammed again. She claimed that she received tons of messages on Instagram asking for money for different purposes, such as hospital fees, tuition fees, family debt, or a personal loan. Specifically, there was a person asking for money constantly for maybe a month or more. So she thought that she should help him and send him money. A message was sent to her immediately right after. Not to thank her, but to keep asking for more. <laughs> Number 4. Solar. Mamamoo. On episode 345 of Weekly Idol, Solar was exposed by the two MCs for being a victim of scams. <laughs> According to her, during a trip to Cebu, the Philippines, Solar and her friends fell for a sophisticated scam of a local man. Specifically, this person who could speak Korean introduced Solar to several travel services in Cebu. With his ability to speak some common Korean phrases with a slight accent, such as <laughs> This guy successfully convinced Solar to go snorkeling at the beach the next day and got her to pay him 100,000 won about 50 to 100 dollars in advance. <laughs> However, the next morning, Solar and her friends waited at the meeting place but didn't see the man. Sensing something wasn't right, her friend called him and got another 30 minutes of waiting. After that, they called again but no one picked up this time. This is when Solar finally realized that she had been scammed. She found out that Cebu was a place that had a lot of Korean tourists. And that man wasn't the only person who could speak Korean. Number 5. Dongwu. Infinite. If we don't mention Dongwu as the most experienced idol with scams, then it'll be a huge mistake. Unlike other idols who were only scammed once or twice, Dongwu fell for the fraudsters six times. What the hell? Appearing on the show Weekly Idol in 2017, Dong Wu once made everyone laugh when he happily revealed that he had been ripped off six times because he was too passionate about buying cars. <laughs> At that time, he was 28 years old and still being scammed. How could a veteran idol be scammed time after time, you wonder? Well, this innocent guy surprised everyone when he said, you have to send the money first to have good things to use. So he just sent the money to the dealer right away because he trusted people so easily. Dong Wu then explained that the seller was a friend of a friend of his. Still, it wasn't a close relationship. Even Sung Gyu felt frustrated about this and got replied by Dong Wu. It won't happen again. The most remarkable thing was that this male rapper had to receive a super fake car instead of an authentic one for the money he spent. He couldn't personally see the car he paid for even once. <laughs> Dong Wu's case made fans feel so sorry for him, yet so cringe. So, you see, anyone can be a victim to scammers. And celebrities are no exception. Just because they trust people too easily, they have become victims of spectacular scams. And the amount of money they were ripped off was not at all a small amount. What would you do if you were them? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Lastly, remember to like, share, and subscribe to BeBoss TV because we'll be back with more interesting content. Thank you for watching.